Hello everyone. Oh my gosh, did we already get a fish? Wait. <laughs> oh no, we got a broken CD. Oh, it's a Janet 2.0 trials CD. They made they must have made billions of these things. Oh my gosh. Well, that surprised me because I wasn't expecting to get something so quickly. But hello, everyone, and welcome back to the beautiful Stardew Valley. And we are here with our little farmer, Siri, which is just ourselves. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on. Can we get this fish? Can we get this fish? And what did we catch? We got a sunfish. So we got an eight inch sunfish, which is a common river fish, apparently. And I really wish, I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and get rid of this coal for now. But, oh, and actually let's go ahead and get rid of this fiber and this rock just for now, even though I love keeping those things. Because what we're trying to do right now is actually managed to catch a catfish for a little old woman named Evelyn to rub on her back, which sounds kind of interesting, but I'm not gonna question it. It's probably some home remedy that she really, really wants to have. So let's go ahead and see if we have any luck catching a fish. Oh, what do we catch? And we got some trash. Ugh. All right, well, come on. We have to go visit the blacksmith today. All right, we're going to have to probably run for it. I don't know if we're going to be able to visit the blacksmith today, but I really wanted to try to catch Miss Evelyn, her little fish. Come on, fish. Be a catfish. Be a catfish. Come on, let's do this. Oh, oh, oh. Are we going to get anything? Well, at least it's a pretty day. Oh, gosh. Oh, all right. We got a hit. We got a hit. All right, let's keep with the catfish. Keep with the catfish. Oh, 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 oh no. Well, I, I am assuming it's a catfish. It's probably not. Oh my gosh. Fishing's hard. Fishing's hard. Don't let anyone ever tell you different. Oh my goodness. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Ugh. Okay, let's get running. Well, we're going to have to try to catch Miss Evelyn, her catfish, in a little bit. We were just foraging and we managed to get some dandelions and some spring onions from here in the beautiful forest. Look at the birdie! Hello, cute little birdie! And we are working our way into town, which is really easy to do, actually. Can we look at the map to see whose homes these are? So this is going to be Jody, Kent, and Sam's homes, and this is Emily and Haley, and I don't know if we've met those people yet, but we're gonna get running because I wanna see if we can visit the blacksmith today before four and learn what he has to sell. Oh, it's little Evelyn, hello Evelyn. I'll be baking cookies today. I like to make flower shapes in the spring. She is so cheerful and her husband is so not. Maybe I'll tell you my recipe one of these days. Oh, I would love to have flower shaped cookies from Evelyn. That just sounds adorable. All right, and I think I get over to the other side. Yeah, here's the bridge. All right, so here's the little bridge. Here's like a little stall and apparently it opens up in the summer. And here is the blacksmith. All right, so let's come over, introduce ourselves. Business has been slow lately. Is that so, Clint? Well, maybe I can help you out, sir. All right, what would it, what, what would you have in your shop, sir? So coal, what? I just threw away coal and it's worth a hundred coins. No, I had no idea. I had no idea, but I know better now. I know better now. Oh gosh. Gold ore, copper ore, iron ore, coal. Okay. And that is if you're too lazy, apparently, to um, mine the ore and rump, like lumps of raw metal. Okay, thank you, Clint. And then upgrade tools. So these would be the cost. You would have to have copper bars as well. And you would need to have a lot of money. So a lot of money to upgrade the tools to. So, hmm, hmm, is that everything? So copper hoe, all right. I can upgrade your tools with more power. You'll have to leave them with me for a few days though. Hmm, hmm, and what's over here? It's a professional grade furnace. Peering inside, you see molten metal bubbling and churning. Ooh, what's this? And can I can I look at this? Clint's quality anvil. It's made from iridium alloy. Oh my gosh, what about this? There's a stack of metalworking blueprints. Wow, so he's really into what he does. Is there anything in the trash? It's full of soot. All right, well, it's very nice to see you see you here, uh, Clint. Good to know what's going on. Um, I wonder, I don't think I could make it up to the carpenters today. Not before five? Well, maybe I could. All right, you guys, let's see if we can do this. We're gonna see if we can run up to the carpenter's place. We're gonna run by the Jojoa Market, I think. I think there's a thing hidden right there. All right, join us, thrive. Life better. Life's better with Joja. Oh gosh. So that's like kind of the personification of all the things that are creepy and weird with, um, oh, and there's a new quest. Creepy and weird. Oh, and there's a flower. <gasps> Siri has to have the flower. I'm sorry, you guys. What is it? 
It's a daffodil! A traditional spring flower that makes a nice gift. Oh, is that the community center? No, don't eat the daffodil right now. Don't do that. So the community center is like abandoned. What? We're gonna have to look into that. All right, keep going, keep going. It's gonna be five soon, keep moving. Oh, can I gather those mushrooms? I really should I could gather those mushrooms. Oh, who's this? Hello, sir. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Hello, Demetrius. Who, who are you the father of? I'm studying the local plants and animals for my home laboratory. <gasps> I think you and I can get along very well, Demetrius. Have you met my daughter, Maru? She's interested to meet you. I think I have, actually. All right, so let's come over here. I think this is actually, hello, hello. So if we were gonna shop, buy the wood, the stone, a basic window, small window, topiary tree, house plant. Oh my gosh, I would love to have those things. You can get the recipes to be able to do straw floor recipe, wooden brazier recipe, uh, wood lamp post recipe. Oh, that would be so useful. Iron lamp post recipe, crystal path recipe. What? That would be so awesome. And then let's see, upgrade house. I can increase the size of your house and add a kitchen. It will cost 10,000 gold. And I also need you to provide me with 450 pieces of wood. Are you interested? Um, I don't, well, you know, we just kind of moved into town and everything. So hang in there, Maru. All right, and construct farm buildings. So the coop houses four coop dwelling animals, 4,000 gold, 300 wood, 100 stone. We definitely need to save some of these things up. Um, and it looks like the coop is the first thing you would have to build. So it doesn't, oh wait, 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 here it is. There's the barn, the well. Oh, that would be really useful. A silo. Um, so silo would be to store, cut and store grass for feed. So I wonder what the difference between grass and the fiber that we've collected is. The stable, which allows us to have a horse. The horse is included. What? What? We would need hardwood and iron bars for that. Slime hutch? Raise up to 20 slimes, fill water trough and allow, and slimes will create slime balls. <gasps> oh my goodness. Well, that got exciting really fast. And look at this lab. I'm going to have to look into it. So this is Sebastian. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? <laughs> I don't blame him for being a little dubious. All right, so what's over here? A beaker set. A stereo microscope. Oh, I think I found my new best friend. Look at all this. Oh, another stereo microscope. Ah, this is wonderful. Okay, and he went downstairs. What's downstairs? Oh, this is his room. Okay, I won't I won't pry. I'm 99% sure that's like his room. So look at all this stuff. Can I can I peek in here? Oh, this is Maru's room? She's a science nut like me? Oh my gosh. Maru, you want this daffodil? I'm pretty sure. I hope this makes a good gift. Alright, Maru. Gift with daffodil. Thank you. This might come in handy. You're always welcome to visit us, even if you aren't shopping, you know. Oh, this is Robin, not Maru. It can get pretty lonely up here in the mountains. Oh my gosh. So let's see if we can sort out everything. Um, oh, and you can give people two gifts before something happens, I guess? Hmm. Before, like, you can't give them any more gifts for the day. Well, we have, maybe. We'll have to look into that. I don't think I gave Lewis a gift today. Maybe I did. All right. So I think I did, actually. So we have Robin and Lewis. And let's see. Penny... We must have met Penny. Oh yeah, we did. She was just kind of like, oh, hi. And like wandered off. Maru! Okay, so Maru is the nurse. Okay, so that's starting to help me put everything together. And then who else have we also met? We've also met who I'm, I'm trying to think. It was Marine, who I think was really into animals and really excited about it. So who do we have left? We have one, two, three, four, five people left. So five mysterious people left. To meet in this town. I'm trying to see. Let's see. We might check on the community center. Oh, I think this is a playground. That's probably what this is. Let's see if we can wander over here and see what's going on. I think that's the artifacts place. Oh, and there's also something going on up here. So let's wander around up here, you guys. Can we talk to him again? Nope. I think we just got to say good morning. Can we give him... Let's give him a, a dandelion? That was very thoughtful of you. Yay! Can I give him a spring onion? Um... You've already given Demetrius a gift for today. Aw, oh, you can only give him like one gift a day. Bunny! Bunny, do you want do you want the spring onion or the, the dandelion? 
Oh, that was so cool to see a bunny for a second. All right, well, let's keep moving. Wow, look at this place. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, this isn't where I wanted to go though. Okay, so map, help me out here. I need to go up and then I think those are actually the caves, which would be really cool to explore. Oh, look at that. Is this, is this Robin? He and Robin are just hanging out together? Yep, I think they are. They're just looking down the mountains. So they must like living up here in the mountains. Look, it's one of these things. I'm beginning to wonder if these are like little teleporters or something like that, where once you open them up, Okay. Hello, sir. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to help you very much. Oh, I think we need to improve our pickaxe to be able to get over to him. Oh, boy. Well, that might make trying to greet everybody and getting started kind of a, a bit difficult to do. I wonder if I lost my quest to get the catfish. I wonder if that quest changes every day. Linus. Uh, Linus. A stranger? Hello. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. Oh my. Are you are you truly one with nature? I respect that, sir. I really do. All right. Let's see what's going on over here. The railroad. Is that all? Is that all you have to say? Yep. Just that the railroad's up there apparently. So if I come over here, we are really exploring all around the place, you guys. All right. Where are we going to now? Who knows? I have no idea where we are. All right, so we went around. So I guess the railroad isn't open right now. Is this my farm? This is my farm! We just went around in a big loop. Okay, so that's interesting. And now we have seen kind of like where the mat, like where the, the mines are. Apparently we can't reach the mines just yet. We haven't gone inside the mart and the mart is actually open for a little bit longer. So we might go over there. Um, Elliot's cabin the fish shop, and the, it looks like there's like little tide pools we can work at in a little bit. Um, so who are we missing on being able to greet people? Let's go back down. It won't let us know, but we only have four more people left. I think one of whom is actually a wizard, and I'm kind of interested in meeting the wizard. Oh yeah, and we were gonna go buy more plants, because it's very important. Actually, oh, it's too late. I think it's way too late. All right, very important to get more plants. Here's the sunfish. I want to put all of those spring onions in there. And I wonder if we can do any fishing in our little pond? Is it going to have anything in here? Maybe. Maybe. We can fish in the comfort of our own backyard. That would be really cool. Oh. And it's just trash. Ah! I was really hoping we would be able to get that, that fish that she was looking for. All right. Well, I don't know what to do just yet. Because I thought maybe we could go mining, but apparently we can't go mining just yet. Um, and it's a little late in the evening to be able to go shopping anywhere. Though we could go to the, I guess we'll go to the mart. All right, I guess that's what we're going to do. I want to come over here, maybe gather up a couple more things. Let's try doing a little bit more fishing. Oh, there's somebody over here. Hello. There's actually a lot of wild food in the area if you know where to look. So this is Leia. I've been having fresh salads almost every day. All right, so who is she in? So she is a single person. And where does she live? Let's see if I can find it. So, oh, she lives in the little cottage over here. That is so cool. All right, is there any wild food that I can see? There's a bunny, which is absolutely adorable. Um, no wild food just yet. But we also know that there is actually the um, wizard. So we see there's a wizard tower on the map. All right, I'm just going to collect these because wood is always useful to have on hand. Especially now that we've seen how many things need like a bazillion and a half pieces. All right, what's this? Hello? It's locked. You can hear someone inside though. I wonder how we could convince him to come out. So how could I? Hmm. I almost tried to chop his door down. I didn't mean to do that. Oh gosh, that's not what I meant by trying to make him, like, convincing him to come on out. Alright, so it's way dark. I think we should probably head home. Not the best time to be swinging an axe around. I really wanted to be cool. I wanted to impress Leia and be able to get a little bit more food. But I don't think I'm going to be able to find anything. Alright, we could try a little bit more fishing, though. Just to see what happens. She's still out here. Alright, we're going to do a little bit of fishing. Apparently she likes to hang out really late by this lake. So you know what? That makes me feel like we're in a companionable area. I got some algae. 
Um, maybe I can give it to her as a present? Uh, this is a pretty terrible gift, isn't it? Oh, no! I was hoping she would like really random weird things like that. And the answer is no, she doesn't. Oops. All right, let's try again. All right, we're probably going to go home soon. Okay, we're getting a lot of algae. I'll, I'll remember that she doesn't enjoy get, being given algae as a present, even though I, I personally... Honestly, I would be pretty excited because if you ever look at algae under a microscope, like the microscope that we just found today, the diatoms look so cool, you guys. They really do. All right, come on. Come on. Come on, little fish. Oh, and trash. All right, let's go home. This is a bust. This is a bust. And we managed to offend somebody who looks pretty cool. Like, seems really awesome and into plants, too. Ah. Uh, I wish I had had a flower or a spring onion to have offered her. But we didn't, and that's okay. Oh, geez. I would love to have, like, a line of campfires to light this place up, because this is, this is pretty ridiculous. All right, and we'll go ahead and sell the algae while we are at it, because we probably don't need this to nibble on, even though we are getting a little bit hungry. It's getting late. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Come on, come on. Go there, go there. All right, I think we'll get in trouble if we stay up too late. All right. And let's go ahead and go to bed. Let's go to sleep for the night. And let's see what the haul is today, you guys. Not bad. We got a, a little bit more, even though we're going really slow because I'm practically selling nothing. And we know a little bit more about the whole area that we're at. So let's go ahead and add the wood in here. I'm just going to, you know, trash, trash. It's, ah, dang it. All right, let's throw the trash away. And actually, you know what we could probably start doing is leaving some of the tools we don't need. No, I didn't want to pick up the rug. Oh gosh. But let's go outside and see what everything looks like. The plants are still growing. Can we harvest these? <gasps> we can have our very first harvest. It's our first harvest, you guys. Oh my gosh, how exciting. We can actually achieve something. Yay! That's the getting started. We have just completed this. If you wanted to become a farmer, oh, yep. So now we have collected 100 gold as the reward for getting started. And we are working on, we're going to be working on raising animals. So we need to build a coop pretty soon. And advancement. As you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes to increase profit and make life easier. A scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious crops. What? What? And how, how do we, how do we gain... Like, advancement. Are we getting any fishing advancement, for example? Because we've been fishing. So I wonder how we see if we're gaining advancement. Like, how we gain farming skill, how we gain fishing skill, where it begins, like, how it piles up. We're going to have to look into that. And I wonder if that's just from, like, do we have to ship fish? Do you have to get really serious into shipping fish? Um... And there's just a lot to do. All right. Well, let's go ahead and keep gathering these pieces up. There we go. We're not going to eat the parsnip. No, 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 no. We're going to keep these parsnips. And I think the mayor's birthday might actually be tomorrow. And if I am guessing correctly, he might actually enjoy a good parsnip. In fact, I wonder if I can just put one parsnip away. Can I read the mail? All right, let's see what the mail says. To our valued Jojo, Mar Jojo Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operations near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operations are entirely legal. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any convenience this incident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Morris, Jaja Customer Satisfaction Representative. Oh my gosh, so I think that little, um, the landslide that we saw earlier that was in front of the mines I think it's just been removed so we'll have to go check that out too I wonder if there's a way is there a way to like separate my stack of parsnips because I don't want to ship all of my parsnips I want to save one to be able to get to the mayor so I'm gonna have to figure out if I can figure out how to sh like separate the little stacks all right let's get down here I'm pretty sure some of these things are gonna grow into parsnips all right, let's go down and water our little kelp. Make sure that it's going to do okay. Kelp? Kel. I'm at kale, not kelp. All right. What if I want to sell... No, I don't want to eat the parsnip. 
Oh darn, I just shipped all of them. Oh well, that's probably going to be for the best anyway. But alright you guys, so I will see you all next time. It is another beautiful day here in Stardew Valley. So when we come back, we'll have to go see what's going on in town. And we'll have to go see how the mining is doing and what we can do when we mine. So I'm looking forward to sharing all of those little adventures with you guys. And continuing to expand our farm. So I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.